Yo, and welcome to another epic tale with Full Circle Kung Fu, where we'll read the legends of martial arts and discuss the moral meaning and philosophy of why they've been passed down for so many years. And we'll share our own personal experiences related to them as well. But if you've had your own experience and would like to let me know down in the comments below, I would love to hear your epic tales and discuss the greatness that is you. So sit back, relax, grab a cup of your favorite hot beverage, and let our journey into martial arts begin. And I honestly think that cooler final form is stronger than Frieza final form because because uh, his Goku's armor. blast, Super Saiyan blast, and he could just withstand it and just go react. right through he it. Goes right through it, and just punches him. Yeah, well, they had to make him stronger for the movie though, so yeah. because. Like, it wouldn't be a movie if they made him weaker than Frieza, you know? That would be kind of weird. And it's like, well, they've already shown Super Saiyan. It's like, yeah, they have to use Super Saiyan Goku in it, right? And, then, so. and in the future, sometime in, like, maybe a few years, maybe, a, like, a decade or so, uh, they're planning on making a new Super Series. It's it's called... Uh, I don't know if this is really true. It's called but I don't know if it's if it's really true. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if it's true. But they've been showing a lot of stuff about... <laughs> no, I'm sorry. They've been showing a lot of stuff about a, the super series called Super Dragon Ball Heroes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, yeah, so... And some people say that the... Well, my brother said that the creator... No, I didn't say it. No. I thought Toriyama yeah, was tired of the series and he was, like, ready to... Out, well, know? that that was what it was after Dragon Ball Z, but well, then he came back for Super. Yeah, yeah, but it was like I thought he was like, well, he said, "This is the last thing I'm gonna do, guys." Like I thought super. that was what it was. It's like he's like, "All right, uh, all right, I'm done this time okay. for real." Well, <laughs> honestly, he can't was, get away from it. If I was Trunks, during after the Android Saga, I would never cut my hair. <laughs> Because Trump, when Trunks had his long hair, yeah, no. he, yeah, he was too bad. Like, that was crazy. Especially when he went Super Saiyan, he got all the big old muscle. He looked just like Broly. You know, uh, like, so... I, is, like, is his hair like, like, was spiky and stuff mm -hmm. all over the place. Yeah, we but... tangent pretty yeah. <laughs> and, uh, you, How do we get over here? I just want to see a movie. To Tommy Mats. <laughs> <laughs> but how did that, like, what, what, what led us on Song, the past? I don't know. So but anyways, the, the so, you know, yeah, no. <laughs> so, but going back to Cooler, though. So, I think re one of the reasons why Cooler was stronger was probably because he trained. Frieza because Frieza it. never trained, and he was as strong as he was, right? Mm -hmm. But Cooler probably actually trained to get as strong as he Cooler was. I thought Cooler was older than Frieza. Uh, so, that does play a role, too, because Trunks was naturally stronger than Goten because he was older. Yeah, but Frieza was supposed to just be naturally, like, the strongest, you know? So, Frieza always had, like, the ability, but Cooler ends up being stronger. So, I feel like Cooler must have trained to get as strong as he was. said it, when, when he first saw Cooler, he knew and all sensed his energy. He said he's, he's about twice as strong as Frieza. Right. And yeah. Frieza has a new transformation. It's called Dark Frieza. No, uh, he I haven't seen that. Uh, it's, not, it's not fully. Yeah, he. Yet. Yeah, but some people say he has it, and he is stronger than Ultra Instinct and Ultra Ego. Ultra Ego is Vegeta's. Both tech, both like going against him at once. Not as Gogeta or Vegito. They, he just. Just beat him one punch. One punch. That sound like when one punch it was one. I do like one episode punch from the Boo Saga. Kid Boo kicks Vegeta, then he just literally stretches the arm out. It was about at least five hundred yards, and he just went. Bow. Yeah, I'm. I'm wait. I think that the new One Punch Man season is supposed to come this year, right? I we've I never seen One Punch Man. Yeah, you haven't watched it. Well, you should. Well. <laughs> you gotta be careful what you recommend to children, sir. I know, I know. You don't want to get in trouble with your mom and dad. Because <laughs> uh, I can't well, help you. I know, it's it's animals. different. It's scary. different, you know, because yeah, I... Be. Versus, like, when I, when we were kids, I guess. So. Uh, because, I don't know. I mean, like, My mom like, let me watch whatever I wanted to. But it's... I understand. Yes, I need to be... You scared of your mom? But One Punch Man isn't bad. A little bit. It's bloody, but it's... <laughs> 
It's oh, really see. more of yeah. a tropey kind of anime. We we see huh? bloody anime, Demon Slayer. Well, yeah, it's not any yeah, worse than that. I was going to say, like, if you guys are allowed to watch <clears throat> Demon Slayer, you should still de- definitely ask your parents if it's okay, but when it's I'm, like, that is a good series. When yeah, I'm around, Demon like, Slayer's 17 good. or so, I'm going to sit with my dad, and I bet him 10 bucks if I watch Attack on Titan and have no nightmares, he has to give me 10 bucks. I would hope that you are a very sound mind at 17. Just, you know. Death, Mo- Death Note might do that to you, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Goblin Slayer definitely will. <laughs> don't watch that one. What's don't watch Death that Note? one. Huh? What's Death Note? Uh, I've seen a few things about that. No, it, it, it's, a like very, it's a very episode. dark anime. Yeah, my sister's been telling me about Death Note as an anime. She said yeah. it's pretty... She said it's gory. I wouldn't call it gory. I would say it's dark. Okay. Um... So, if you don't like uh, thriller kind of stuff, then I wouldn't watch it because it, I would put it kind of that in that kind of a group, you know. But um, I'm I, I'm not recommending that one. <laughs> yeah, disclaimers, guys. Yeah, I'm not recommending that one. But Demon Slayer is good. Um, what would be you? one? Not Yu Yu Hakusho. Oh, because but I, it's a classic. But it's very that cool. one's actually worse than Dragon Ball Z or oh, yeah. uh, the Dark Tournament's longer no, than the Boost. Because that one has a lot of <laughs> that one actually has a good amount of cursing in it. Yu Yu yeah. Hakusho. It uh, Is it any more yeah. than Demon Slayer? They, yeah. Is it worse than Inuyasha? Uh, I I think so. Yeah, because. <laughs> It was wild because, because yeah. the main. <laughs> <laughs> My uh, sister and I used to sit there cracking up, laughing off of it. They could probably watch Sailor Moon, right? So. Yeah, Sailor Moon. There was like almost nothing going on in that it's one. Like, see, no. the tuxedo mask. Tuxedo mask. <laughs> oh yeah. It's like by the power of the moon, I will vanquish you. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't seen that show in years. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if we're gonna if we're gonna recommend you know stuff for children, how about, we'll just Tubbies. say tell Tubbies. How about that? that no. Is that no, good? No. <laughs> I one time had nightmares of that. Who who got Tinky Winky or Poe? <laughs> I don't even know. I, good for you to know the names, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I, know. I remember most of them. I think I was just slightly too old for it. You <laughs> know, I was a little little boy when it came out. Tinky Winky, Dipsy, La La. Oh. I don't. Remember that. <laughs> I just remember seeing it in passing, and I, and I, I think whenever I, I saw it, and it was like this big fluffy thing just hopping through people go la la la. It's like next or the little, or the baby be in the sun. <laughs> yeah, I was like, why is there a baby in the sun? Some it's someone's son, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. It, was, it was a girl. No. It was a baby because they had like a. An article on that recently, like, hey, this is the little baby that was the Teletubby son, and she's got her own daughter. <laughs> wow. So, there's well, like... one anime I still want to finish. Um, I haven't watched it in a quite a long, long time. It's the Godzilla anime. I didn't even know they made a Godzilla anime. I didn't either. Yeah, I don't know. Oh. I don't know. What anime I did Is that an old one? What? That's an old one? It's no. Old. It looked quite new. Huh. One anime I did watch as a kid, I don't think I was about you guys' age, but um, it wasn't really as popular. It's called Rave Master. I like Rave Master too. <laughs> <laughs> Rave Master was pretty Rave good. Rave Master and Digimon and Pokemon. Of course. Veroni Kenshin. Veroni Kenshin. Yeah, that was a good one. Veroni Kenshin. I loved her. Veroni Kenshin. It's on Netflix, oh, I think. It's like, I like Gundam Wing too. And oh, Gundam Zoids. Oh, I love oh, Zoids. Zoids. Zoids were so oh my God. awesome. It was funny, especially it was one episode. That's one I want to go back and watch again. It's on YouTube. Is it? No lie. The whole thing? Yeah. Oh, wow. I remember about Josh and the ear pencil. I know all of uh, Yu- Yu-Gi-Oh is on YouTube. Oh, no, I didn't know. Yeah, you can find all of it on YouTube. Have yeah. you seen uh, Princess Monica? Monica? Mononoke? Mononoke. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I don't know how to say the name really good. That's okay. Yeah. But I've seen the full movie, and then ever since I've seen it, I've watched, I wanted to ask my dad if we could watch it again. 
but he said, no, it's too dark. I'm like, no. So I just well, stared at him like, oh. Well, I think, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap it up with uh, Princess Mononoke. So, <laughs> and, uh, so, th- <laughs> uh, thanks for watching and, or listening. And <laughs> <laughs> well, the video on YouTube, yeah. Right? Well, technically, watching. but uh, it's just gonna—it's just symbol. So I don't know. I, I mean, I could. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe if if I had a good way of like being like uh, flipping people's pictures, you know, every time that their their voice came up, then mm-hmm. I would do that. But or uh, I don't know. Maybe I could make like a. I don't know. Anyways, thanks. Thanks for listening. <laughs> Have a good one. <laughs> Thanks for listening to part four. We always go off on tangents, but I love having this environment. I can talk with my students openly and freely. If there is a part of the podcast you missed, they'll all either be listed in the description or part of a playlist on the channel. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I hope you enjoyed your time together with us as much as we did.